Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In the next sequence of videos, I'm going to talk about conditionals and loops. And those are a foundation in any programming language, so we need to get those out of the way. They're fairly easy, and especially in Python syntax, it's, it's very easy to write. So what I want to do is I want to get out of the shell because we do have to probably write a few lines of code and it's kind of a pain when you're working in the shell because every time you hit enter it prints something out so let's just write a little script real quick and as you notice I went to file new file and we have this file right here and what we can do is a conditional test if something is true or false and based on that test will run the code or not run the code so what we can do is in a boolean type by the way there's two values true and false and that is I hope you guys understand what true and false is like let's say that I had X equal to 2 and I wanted to say ask if X is equivalent to 3 I should get a false as an answer okay so to do the foundation for this let's create a variable real quick I'm just gonna say X equals 4 and now what we can do is we can test this value out so let's say if and inside of these parentheses right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some type of boolean expression and a boolean expression should return either a true or a false it shouldn't return a number or a string or anything like that so what we can do is we can say if true for instance that would work and it would do whatever is underneath this if statement but let's do some of the more typical ones which are is x less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than equal to or equivalent to th things along those lines or not equal to so let's say if x is equivalent to 4 and notice that I'm not saying x equals 4 I'm saying there's double uh, equal symbol right here and that's just saying is the value the same for x as it is for 4 right here so it is true and then after this uh, set of boolean expressions because you can have more than one we're gonna have a colon and after that there will be an indentation and if you're not getting that automatically make sure you tab over because that lets Python know that that is the code that's supposed to be run so if it is uh, equivalent to 4 we want to print out it works or it's true something along those lines okay and if we wanted to run that now we'd probably have to save it first so let's just say save and I'm gonna just call it if if dot py it already exists whatever alright so let's run that now run module okay so it says it's true so let's go back to our file and manipulate a little bit more so we can say things along the lines of if x is not equal to 3 run that so that is not equal is this exclamation point with the equal sign next to it so those are the two ways of seeing equivalency the first one was is it equivalent to that and the second one is is it not equivalent to that that's pretty easy to understand other common ones are less than or less than or an equal to and the whole greater than and equal to thing you can say um, if x, let's say if x is not equal to 3, and then we can have a, a, another can, a Boolean expression right here with like an and or an or, and we can say if x is not equal to 3 and x is, let's say, less than 10, that's true, we want to print this out, is it's true. So let's save that now and run. And we got another it's true so let's just say something that's false so let's say X is greater than 10 Control s for save run module and we got nothing so that wasn't true alright and now what we can do is we can also have an else statement down here that does something if that statement is false so we can say else uh, colon and then it should automatically indent again and let's just do another thing of code and what we're going to do is print out it's false it's false All right. and you're not restrained to printing stuff out you can do other execution 
of code of whatever you want in here and it can be uh, as long as you want as long as it's indented this far because as soon as the indention goes away that's when that everything within that if statement stops running um, so now the the idea behind this is it's gonna say if this is true and this is true do this but if one of these is false or both of these are false we're gonna do this else statement and another thing we can do is say or and what this will do is it'll say if this is true or this is true run this so if both of them are true you'll run it if this is true that's false it'll run it if that's true and that's false it'll run it so we should still get it printed out let's run this real quick that it's true run a module it's true now let's make one that's false so we can show that the else condition works as well so let's say um let's just put an and there all right save that control s now run module and we got it's false all right so that is a really good way that uh you can start executing code that you want to do if a certain condition's true and if that condition is not true we want to run another set of code or no code at all so thank you for watching and please remember that the basic syntax behind this it's a if uh, keyword and then inside parentheses we have a boolean expression or boolean expressions and then we have a colon not a semicolon then the next whatever code that runs if that if statement is true has to all be indented and if you want to have a condition for if that's not true we can write an else with a colon and then have a indent and whatever code you want to write after that so thank you guys for watching and please subscribe below if you haven't